Character counts everywhere all the time Whether life's easy or an uphill climb We will shine when we walk that way Character counts everywhere Our grandson, Tice, was running in the conference cross-country meet for his high school. And prior to the start of the race, I noticed a runner from another school wearing a warm-up shirt that had this slogan on it. It's all about me. Really? What message is he sending to his teammates? I wondered, is he promoting the understanding of community or a statement that he's only concerned about himself? Me, me, me. And later I caught this clip of another cross country race that portrayed a far different picture. You've got an athlete who can't quite make it and they've got a team, a, a girl from another team trying to help her to the finish line so she can finish the race. That's what, now that's what the sport is all well. about. Oh my goodness. This is just incredible. The sportsmanship phenomenal as you see those final yards there. As you see, Clemson and Louisville helping the Boston College runner. That's Tate and Pease. And the Boston College runner can't even lift her legs right now. She'll try to cross the finish line. What a shot right here at Lakeman Soccer Park in Cary. But you sacrifice your own position wow. to help another athlete finish what they started. And that, that's a true sportsmanship. You see, instead of a mindset that it's all about me, you see a competitor understanding the feeling and heartbreak of the stumbling and fallen runner as together they gutted it out on a rugged cross-country course. To me, it's a loud and clear call of empathy. See, it's empathy that helps us interact appropriately and positively with others. And anyone could say this is fundamental to the success of your class, your school, and all of our relationships. I'd like to say I've always had this empathy skill all figured on out. Not true. See, in my early days as a superintendent, it was all about me. I could have forsaken suit and tie and worn that shirt. What I valued was control, prestige, and influence. See, when staff came with issues or problems, I framed the discussion more on what impact this would have on me rather than showing any concern or interest. I thought caring about anyone except me would portray me as a sucker. See, somehow my mindset changed. I began to see empathy as the ability to sense what someone else might be thinking or feeling. But to be able to put myself in the other person's shoes, I, I became invested in their well-being, caring about another's feelings, but also taking action to help. When you can't do it all, do what you can. Caring for others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Michelle Borba in her book, Unselfie, Why Empathetic Kids Succeed in Our All About Me World. She shares that if we want empathetic children, we must help them define themselves as people who care about and value others. And we must instill those beliefs during childhood. See, being able to understand how another person is feeling and recognizing their needs helps people to connect to one another. If you think empathy is a soft skill, you're wrong. It, it's not a soft skill, but one that's hard skill to master. See, empathy demands use of many other skills or character traits, uh, listening, communication, uh, uh, resilience, uh, responsibility, respect, just to name a few.
So how can we help to build or strengthen the skill of empathy in your students? One, model it. Model how to act on empathy, such as helping, showing kindness, or even simply listening. A second way is through exposure to a variety of literary experiences. Characters and conflicts in books can uncover for students a range of social situations. Quotations or stories shared in a morning meeting can prompt and guide discussions with strategic questioning that allow students to engage in empathetic practices. Have your students write on a prompt related to empathy. Journal responses can further discussions about how students are treating each other. Uh, be clear that you expect your students to care about one another and the entire school community. Our Way to Go lessons on empathy and the pillar of caring also provide opportunity to structure an applicable teaching point for students. Four, uh, create opportunities for students to experience empathy in a way that's authentic. This can be the best way for them to apply what they've learned. Oh, things like uh, maybe random acts of kindness, a, a service project, some kind of a community initiative, or even a, a project within your school. See, as educators, we understand that there's no single solution to having kids with good character. But if we engage students in empathy, perhaps we can promote understanding, sensitivity, and awareness of others so that they may carry these skills forward, not only in our classrooms, but in the world around them. Now, what have I learned? I've learned that empathy mobilizes kindness. Empathy gives kindness really its why. And it allows me the opportunity to deliver a why of kindness. It's caring each heart understands.